Alright guys, I'm back for part 19 of my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. And in this episode, I'm basically going to be taking on the Celadon City Gym, which consists of really just a bunch of noobs, because they all use Grass-type Pokemon, and come on, man! Who the hell uses Grass-type Pokemon? And yes, before I started this episode, actually, there was a little bit of a stalk tree or something here, and I cut it down. Yeah, I shouldn't really have done that without showing you guys. But anyway, yeah, there was a tree there, cut it down with my Rattatat. And now I'm going to verse the uh, Celadon City gym trainers. Uh, who's this guy? Let me talk to him. Hehe, <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. What the fuck is ro- Really? An old pedophile, okay. That just seems completely normal. Anyway. I should tell you about this gym. Only real ladies are allowed in here. Okay, cool. And you can probably already notice that. Oh my god, it's another slot. They're everywhere. They're taking over Pokemon. And that old man's probably just licking his lips right now in happiness. And for this, I'm going to have to use Wing Attack. Bit super effective. I'm going to be honest and say straight up that this gym should really be a... <laughs> Should really be a cakewalk, so to say, because I have all the right Pokemon for these battles, so it, sh it should really be just so easy. And what the hell happened? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I accidentally pressed the Alt button, and for some reason that it stopped. <laughs> Whatever, we'll continue. A weeping Bell. Oh, I can I can already tell this is going to be freaking easy, man. Weeping Bell got owned. The last K. The slut K, you're too rough. You're too slutty, that's what you get. Bitch. And another chick. Oh, welcome, I was getting bored. Well, you would if you fucking stand there all day. Do something, get out of the gym. Beauty Bridget, okay. She's uh, a little bit, she's, she's still a slut, but she, she's kind of a laid back slut, you know, like, she doesn't go out of her way to, you know, flash her ass and her tits out, so, I don't know, man. Don't really know what message uh, Game Freak is trying to send <laughs> with these type of characters, but whatever. And a bell spout, okay. Ah, uh, wing attack. Man, this is gonna be so freaking easy, man. This is, and, and it's funny because my Pidgeotto might actually benefit off these. You no, know, I mean obviously leveling up and killing mon and killing on um, Pokemon or beating Pokemon faster it, it, it always benefits you but it'll pull and the one thing I'm going to talk about it will not talk about what am I saying man I'm speaking absolute gibberish right now but yeah my Pidgeotto is probably going to evolve by the end of these battles oh my god the worst part when you realize you can't edit it out when you like you, you don't you have no idea what you're saying and you can't edit it out that's the worst freaking moment oh my god my Pidgeotto hit 100 HP damn damn Bell Sprout. I've not even lost one HP left. My makeup. And I got 1,512 Pokemon dollars for winning the battle. And there's a fucking tree. But I'm going to burst these trainers first because, you know, it's, it's easy anyway, so why not? Look, look, see my Pokemon? I like the grass type. I like how they're easy to raise. Bitch! We all know that grass type Pokemon are the weakest Pokemon in the freaking Pokemon realm. We all know that. Need to learn. Go back to Pokemon school. More Bell Sprouts, man. The Bell Sprouts, the Bell Sprouts aren't doing shit. One hit care. It's funny because I'm actually literally putting my hands behind my head and just like. I'm, I'm so laid back right now. No pressure, no nothing. I'm just... I'm on a roll, man. I'm on a roll. I don't even know, like, should I switch my Pokemon? I mean, I could, you know, give a, a rest to my Pidgeotto. I mean, it's so easy. Just... Whatever, man. Now nah, I'm going to keep my Pidgeotto because it's going to level up at level 36 to a Pidgeot. So, that'll be pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, I defeated that train. That was freaking easy. Too easy. No! Yes, no, indeed. 1,728 Pokemon dollars winning the battle. Um, now I'm going to verse this 
Wow, I actually thought that was a guy at first, but, you know, I guess I was wrong. Weren't you peeking here earlier? Bitch, I am not that old pedophile outside the gym. Maybe you should go have a look. And that's a picnicker, and her name is Tina. A Bulbasaur, okay. Well, I'll just use my, uh, flying type attacks, and it'll probably be super effective. Yep. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking easy, man. It's funny because whenever I verse a gym, like, I usually, I usually, like, just, like, um, I, na I name the episode what gym it is. Maybe I should j change the title of this video, I don't even know. Now, I'm, I'm gonna still call it Celadon City Gym and just write random shit in the description because I need to write shit on this, man. So many freaking sluts and pedophiles revolved around this gym. 724 XP, yes! You're an eye opener. Thank you. Sure am. Gonna become a Pokemon Master one day, and oh my god, I gotta go in here. Alright, I gotta cut all these trees down. This tree looks like it could be cut down. Would you like to cut it? Yes, I would. And oh my god, I failed so many times during this episode, struggling to speak, but whatever. I'll continue. Welcome to Celadon Gym! You'd better not underestimate the nice ladies here. You know what? I always thought it was Celadon than City Gym. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't even know that till just now. It's actually Celadon Gym. I brain fade, whatever. And I'll just continue I'm on my merry way with uh, Wing Attack. It is the trend. All I really need to use. Pidgeotto is going to evolve after this battle, obviously, because he's a boss. And I do it like that. Oddish, yes. I mean, no, I will not change Pokemon. Fail. Die, bitch. Too easy, man. Wow, it would be so, like, unbelievable if I actually went through the whole entire gym without my Pidgeotto actually losing any life. Because I think we all know my Pidgeotto is not going to faint anyway, so... I think it's just a matter of how much HP I actually lose. Um, wing attack. Is it kind of boring just seeing me spam this shit out of wing attack? I don't know, man. I mean, it, it's so effective, but then again, not really effective for you guys, because it might be a bit, no matter how retarded that sounds, it might, it might not be that entertaining, but whatever. I'm going to continue and just keep using it anyway. And oh my god, my Pidgeotto is going to evolve into Pidgeot after this battle. Unless, uh, Bulba, Bulbapedia steed me the wrong way. But now nah, they're a pretty reliable source, so... Yeah, my Pidgeotto is going to evolve to a Pidgeot after this. Gloom. Gloom. The freaking stoned-ass Pokemon. With some dribble sliding out of its mouth. Always a weird-ass Pokemon that I never really understood. I don't know why, man. I never liked Gloom. It was an alright Pokemon, but... It's just, just a bit weird. You know, one of those weird Pokemon you see every now and then. Yes! Beat her ass. Oh, beaten! 792 Pokemon dollars. And yes! My Pidgeotto is evolving! Let's go! Goodbye, Pidgeotto, and welcome, Pidgeot. You're a, you are a very welcome addition to the team, and oh my god, it's another bitch. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. It's pretty much everyone else does in the fucking Pokemon realm, you dumbass. The beauty lorry. Okay. And execute. Oh, damn. Fucking Pidgeot looking like Elvis or some shit right now, right now man. Long as slicked back hair. Wow, that was easy. I don't know. Now I'm gonna verse this bitch and then verse Eric at the end. We don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. Wow, I actually thought grass and bug type Pokemon were the same. But I'm not a Pokemon expert, so don't crucify me for saying that. Just 
just a thing I never picked up. I don't know. Okay, the slut Lisa wants to face me and she's got an oddish. That. I've got a pitch yacht. And fuck this shit. I'm going to use something else, man. These battles are way too easy. Okay, I know I said I was going to try and, ma you know, make my pitch yacht not, not lose any, you know, HP. But whatever, man. I have to use something different for once. I know I lost some HP, but whatever. And the reason why I got, well, in the first place, the reason why I actually got a Pidgey was because of the fact that my, my real my real life friend Chris told me that Pidgeot or Pidgey, uh, Pidgeot or Pidgeot are all a really quick flying type Pokemon and it's probably the easiest to obtain. So I thought, why not? I actually wanted to get a Dragon Knight, but I had no idea how to get it. And the reason why I wanted the Dragon Knight <laughs> was because of the simple fact that it looks awesome, man. And, but apparently it's it's I don't I, I don't know if it's really hard to get or not, but all I know is that PG is ten times easier to get, so that's what I got. But anyway, now I'm going to face the Celadon Gym Leader Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, my name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging, because that'll totally help in this battle. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. This is going to be so freaking easy. I can see it right now. Who shove up for me first? The victory bell. And for that, I'm going to have to use my favorite attack, wing attack. Shouldn't do a one-hit KO. Oh, yeah, it does. Damn. And a level up. Nice. Tangela, okay. Um, wing attack, why not? Whole battle, all one hit KOs, I'm guessing. It's funny because I still, in, in my Pokemon team, I still have a team that's, full, that's fully prepared for like these battles in the Celadon Gym. Because obviously I have like my Charmeleon, which is, you know, has fire type attacks who will all be super effective on, you know, grass type Pokemon. And then I have like my, my Mankey, or my, oh, not my Mankey anymore, my Primeape, sorry for that. Yeah, my Primeape, look, it has attacks like, like Rock Slide. I don't know if like Seismic Toss and Karate Chop would do anything, but yeah, it has Rock Slide and then obviously all these other, oh, what the hell am I doing? But yeah, I have... Good Pokemon for these battles, but only need to use my Pidgeot because Pidgeot's you no, know, yeah, Pidgeot's a boss. Nearly said Pidgeotto there. And yes, own it. Vile Plume, I am the best. You need to learn that. And I defeated the leader Erica. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer on you the rainbow badge. A very colourful badge, if I must if I don't say myself. 2,900 Pokemon dollars. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50, obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. I received TM19. TM19 contains Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Yes, I do. And wow, this episode was so weird. I the reason why I really struggled to speak in this episode because my throat's like really dry and at times it, I find it really hard to speak. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys still enjoy it, enjoyed it anyway. So uh, yeah, um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.